Hello family, I'm your welding coach, Joe Brown, AKA Black Phoenix. And today I wanted to talk to you briefly about the four processes of welding and the four processes of MIG welding. The four processes of welding is stick, MIG, TIG, and flux core. Now MIG welding actually got four processes too. You have short circuit transfer, you have globular transfer, you have post spray transfer, and you have spray transfer. Each of these specific procedures requires you to do something a little different. The gas change or the wire size change. And all of this is made so that way you can even do artwork or small parts like gates, fences, and things like that when you're fabrication. Or if you're doing heavy duty fabrication uh, on trailers and on things that are gonna have a lot of movement and banging around, you want deeper penetration. So that's where why they got four different processes. So the first one, it's actually for the fabricators. You're doing smaller things, or you're making parts, or you're making furniture. Normally, you use the, cir the short circuit, which is uh, anywhere from 0.025 wire all the way to uh, 0.60 size wire. You're going to use 75, 25 on your gas, or you can use 100% carbon dioxide. Now, when you go to the globular transfer, you can use the same 75, 25 on your gas or 100% carbon dioxide, which is most commonly used on that process, is most commonly used on that process, but you can have a bigger wire size. So your wire size on that is gonna start around 035, and it can go all the way up to 0.89. And it gets more amperage. You're gonna have a little bit hotter because it's gonna get in-depth penetration. And then you got the post-transfer meeting. Now, when you use this, it's gonna change up on the gas. It's gonna be a 90% argon and a 10% or carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide gas mixtures must be greater than 80% argon, and that's because it's gonna allow it to weld smoother, it'll be a lot smoother, a lot hotter, and the argon does great with that. And it also changes the, the wire size diameter. You go anywhere from a 0.035 all the way to a 0.89. And then when you jump into the spray, the spray is in the same categories. Uh, it actually uses the same amperage uh, you go anywhere from 200 to 500 amps of voltage. Uh, it also changes the, the wire size anywhere from 0.35 all the way to 0.89. So it all depends on what you are building. But if you are doing gates and fences and things like that, that short transfer is going to be great. But if you're doing things like trailers and axles and stuff like that that need great penetration, then you're going to go to something like the post spray transfer because it's going to give you a greater penetration with the me. So with the MIG welding process, you can actually do the MIG without the gas, which is called flux core, self-shield gas. And when you're doing that, a lot of times that's for outside as well, when you don't need the gas evolved in it to, you know, to produce a weld. And normally they use that on construction. You'll see a lot of that on construction or when they're going out to put in gates or stuff, they'll use the weld the hinges on with the flux core without gas because you don't need it. It'll still give you good, great penetration, but it don't look the same as with gas. The profile is a little different. So I just wanted to give y'all some updates on the four different processes of me welding, but to let you know that there is four processes of welding. And out of those four processes of welding, a lot of it has to do with MIG now because it's more economical. You don't have to throw rods down and it's not as slow as TIG welding. TIG welding is a more slower process. And now since we're into making parts and we're building, doing a lot of construction, it's more economical to use the MIG welding process. Even if you was at home and you was doing things, you would rather use the MIG than the stick welding. Now, if you're in construction and you're doing buildings and you're doing stuff that's going to have a lot of pull and movement and things like that then you do you want to stick well because the stick well can actually kill several birds in one stone you can pick different rods for different procedures but as for as the mig welding process there's four different processes hold on